what's up card game enthusiast i'm bringing you today an amazing deck you're gonna love this this deck is extremely strong it has capabilities to remove the opponent reduce their cost draw it has absolutely everything you will ever need play things from the trash and i'll show you guys some gameplay to show you how strong this deck is but let's go ahead and jump right in and show you what the deck is all about obviously i'm going to talk to you about black you can never go back right after this deck guys i'm telling you you're going to fall in love with this i'll talk, talk to you guys some strategy and how to play this deck obviously you're going to learn with the gameplay but if you enjoy content like this make sure you subscribe like i'm growing this channel and you're going to help me let's go so here is the deck boys as you can see it's rob lucy the gucci boy and uh, absolutely insanely strong deck very good uh let's go ahead and start with the basics obviously spandam is just four off he gets you extra draws uh sometimes you're never gonna get something off with him but it's nice it's okay some sometimes i don't know why their opponent likes to remove him he gives me zero value but the opponent just doesn't like to see him ever uh, this is saka Zuki. Obviously, at three, you can run four if you want. It's just hands is going to be a problem for you. And uh, I guess running four off is possible. But what's going to happen is this Kaku is going to fill up a lot of the void. As long as you get some air drops out uh, early, you're going to be able to pop uh, anything you want with Kaku uh, combined with the Great Eruption. This Komaduri is a nice card here, guys. He's a CP9, also very strong if you get him early. Really nice to push him off. Uh, obviously, Barcelona would be the better choice. But if you if you can, push him off. Let him die. And that way, you can gain some value early on with Blueno or Kaku. Really good strategy there. Tashigi is just there for the blocking. Obviously, I've never, ever, ever used him. These CP7s, I don't even understand why this is a CP7. I wish it was a CP9. It would have made, made it much more useful. But honestly, combining this with some of your cost reduction, it could be the winning... Uh, card you needed to restand your Lushi. Sometimes you just keep a Nami on the field, you never touch her just because you know your Wanze is going to be able to KO her, allowing your Rob Lushi to restand easily. So it's a cheap cost reduction, uh, a cheap way to KO a one cost that you can choose to keep on the field once you see the Wanze, allowing you to not have to pressure the opponent with attacks. Instead, you could just rely on the Wanze to give you that restand and not have to worry about the opponent kind of blocking you. Really, really strong. Airdrop, honestly, you could run this at four. Um, it's really strong. Uh, I didn't run it too much because I thought it was look at three for some reason, but it's actually look at top five. So you could run it, maybe get rid of the great eruptions. Dick, straightforward. You want to run a bunch of CP9s, but Aishu is just insanely strong. You're going you're to see in the gameplay, uh, I run Aishu because the second you can push out this Aishu, if you can play him early, absolutely just demolishes any kind of advantage the opponent had you get a 9k on the field that can reduce the opponent's cost so allowing your other characters to come off kaku can start killing six costs that's amazing basically it's free removal <laughs> it's absolutely insane actually you gain from the removal because you get your cards back into the deck so it's it's so strong with aisho uh but yeah aisho absolutely activates this deck you play him off as soon as possible the second you get to eight dawn you gain that 9k body and also your opponent has to delete two of his cards. You obviously time it very well that he has six six cards. Usually they always have six cards by the time you play Aisho. And you will see in the gameplay, I've almost every single game played the Aisho. Absolute amazing kind of momentum t uh, remover. <laughs> Absolutely just sucks any momentum out of the opponent's plays. And uh, the problem with this is obviously it's uh, random. So sometimes you won't get value from it. You'll just remove uh, random events, but still the disruption of the hand is very, very big and the opponent is not expecting it. And then the 9k, who's going to deal with that? You, 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 after two turns, the opponent is dead. So absolutely insane deck. Obviously, there are other cards you could add in here, guys. A lot of strong black events I'm seeing here. Really strong uh, possibilities you could run. Uh, maybe a meteor volcano. I didn't see any value in this. Maybe run another impact wave. You could definitely run this. Uh, the thing is, I just run eye shows so early that impact wave usually, if I don't get it uh, earlier than turn one, like if I can, if I don't get it turn one, I just usually miss the activation on it because uh, unless it's super late game, I'm always going to be trying to play the eye shows out, and usually I run out of dawn when I do that. So. 
or push out suckers. I'm always trying to gain advantage. I'm always trying to suck away from the opponent's field. And you will see in the gameplay, guys, you're always trying to take away from the opponent any kind of advantage while you're landing your own units. Kaku is insane. Uh, you, like, basically, you're rewarded for playing the game. Uh, you gain, you play the game, you lose your op blockers early, then you get them back either with the f uh, Blueno or the Kaku. Uh, and then... Uh, if, if you, obviously you make sure there's a Komaduri on the field because the Blueno is going to just play it for free. So you're just gaining so much value for playing the game. You're just blocking like regular and you're gaining value for uh, allowing your other cards to activate. So really strong deck. I'm very, very happy with this deck. I think you guys are going to be excited about this deck. Go ahead, check out the gameplay. Tell me what do you think about this deck down in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time, boys. Peace. Man, running against Ace. Let's see, let's see who's doing this. Who's going to do this? I don't want to give him a lot of hand, actually. I think he's going to struggle with this small hand. Whoa. Talking about ho small hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're keeping. We're actually going to go for the double eye show play, if, if we can. Absolutely demolishing his hand. We're gonna go for just demolishing this dude's hand. And turn. Nothing to play. Next turn we're gonna go for the Barcelino. We could also CP9 it, air door it. Do you guys trust in the CP9s? I don't trust them at all, guys. I'm not gonna air door, miss, and then have nothing on the field. We need actually some hits here. Stick one. This is another good option to play. Okay, um, don't have a lot of counter value. I think we have to get rid of the Komaduri. Because he's going to get KO'd anyways. We need the Barcelino out. Barce oh wow, Komaduri came back. <laughs> he just likes us a lot. Let's get rid of the Izo. Or what? What do you guys think? I, mean, I doubt he keeps pumping the ISO. Let's give him one one turn of ISO. Well, I'll attack. We need Barcelino out ASAP right now. I doubt he ISOs. It does anything with this ISO. I mean, he's not Zoro. Sure, I'll take this one. That's fine. I need hands anyways. Okay, we're already in this game. Okay, so I know a new Izo isn't going to do anything that turn. We can actually KO her later to restand this guy. So let's keep Izo on the field for now. We need to get rid of this right now. I could do it. No, I can't. That's actually scary. That's a big, big one. That's a really strong one. Okay. Let's just go for this. Man, a CP9 better be up there. I think there's a CP9 up there, though. Damn, that's great, I guess. Okay. Oh, the minus two is not enough. Let's go for the Komaduri. Oh man, if we don't. Uh, yeah, let's go for the Komaduri here. That's the biggest value. And then. I could scare him with these two standing up. Let's try to scare him with these two standing up. Okay, what was that? He just gives himself plus 1000. Okay. That's why Ace is really good. These uh, events become valuable to him. They gave him plus 1,000. I think this is going to be a problem, but when once it attacks, we can deal with it. It's not going to gain any value because if he does, like, for example, crossfire or whatever, fire fist or whatever he wants to do, it's it's not going to KO my Barcelino. And then uh, next turn, we're going to go for the I-Show immediately. We're playing I-Show ASAP. 
So we can't take a lot of damage this turn. Getting a Komodori out was not bad. Eridor, I keep thinking we look at the top three, but let's actually look at the top five. So he doesn't do anything with it. Is he telling me to block? I'll just block it. I don't care if this Barcelona dies, to be honest. See, I knew it. Double attack. Yo, that was a misplay then from me. Kill one of your opponents, then give him double attack. Yo, that's a misplay from me. I have to drop a lot of cards here. Big misplay by me. Big, big misplay by me. <laughs> Impact wave shows up a little bit late. Um, okay. We don't want to drop any cards from his hand. We want him to actually lose them right now. So we'll just go for the Aisho. Perfect. Wow. That's a lot of value. We are going to go for the Brook. Now he has no hand. <laughs> Man, if he tries to repl if he replenishes the hand somehow, I'm gonna go for the ice next turn. Like let's say he takes two hits. Or replenishes his hand with draw and start with ice show. I am I'm just gonna keep reducing his hand size. Bro, I can't even ice show anymore, his hand is just too tiny. That's good. I'm just going to attack. Because, listen guys, if he... It doesn't matter. He was going to reduce my power to 4k and I would have been a useless blocker. Right now, at least I'm at 6k. I could do something. Yeah, this, this was the right play, boys. As long as he doesn't drop his hand, I, I'll I show again. Because I'll attack him twice, he'll get his hand back, and then I'll I show. He might he might feel a little bit bad about the Barcelona and try to go for it. Let's see. I would hope so. I, f uh, I hope he feels like I'm healthy, because I'm really not healthy. Because I wish I had the impact wave one turn early. That would have been a perfect turn for it. He just gains so much value from his events. Like, what the f what the hell is this? If your leaders Portugal's uh, KO up to one, that's crazy. Okay, okay, this is scary. Okay, it's yours. That's all yours. Sure, I'll tr I'll take one hit. What are you gonna do now? I don't even know what kind of two costs spells could have could be there i have no idea what they could be anyway i could kill this i could reduce him by three i, mean, I could just attack into him There's no need for me to eye show again, so we're just gonna spam them to start. No CP9. Nothing, okay, zero value. Then we'll go for the Borsalino. Cause yeah, we're not gonna draw. We're gonna go for the Borsalino. I think we attack here. See what happens. Cool. We'll attack 5k. Okay, now we can Kaku. 
Do we actually Kaku here? We're, we're not in a Kaku. Actually, Kaku is a great idea, and I'll tell you why. Because we could end game. Kaku into Borsalino, we could end game next turn. Yeah, we're, we're going to be just so strong. Okay. But also, we might need Kaku. Don't worry about it. Let's just, let's just do it. Okay, good. He has literally no field, nothing to do. Impact waves are going to be super healthy and helpful next turn. Let's see, what was that? Whoa, okay. So he basically spent all, everything he had. Get rid of the eye show. We'll take this last hit because we need cars in hand. Oh my god, I forgot that he actually double attacks. I'm actually bad at the game, guys. I didn't know he double attacks. Um, I mean, he has nothing in hand. We might as well just pump up and win game, right? So we'll start 7k here. Start 8k here. 9k here. 10k here. 8k here. Well, I can't actually win game. I actually can't win game. Unless my 6k attack goes through. Which is almost impossible. So I can't win game right now. So what we want to do is we want to actually survive one more turn. So let's just spend them here. Uh-oh. I think we can actually end now. Because we can still hit 8k. This is 7k. 7k. 8k, 8k, 7k. Okay, no, we can't end. Let's keep 4 up. Let's keep 4 up and let's go a little bit for the face. I'll end my turn. We are totally good. We're totally safe. We have a blocker that cannot be removed by Flame Emperor. And uh, nothing can really get rid of it. He's at zero life. Even if he double attacks, we'll block. If not, we're going to impact wave the, sh the b b b Jesus out of everything. Next turn, we can eye show to start and just absolutely empty his hand and just go for the win. I'm not going to Aisha, obviously, next turn. We're just going to push. But yeah, guys, tough game. But I think we have full control. We just reduced his hand perfectly to down very, very small size. And we just, I think we could have won. Yeah, we could have won already. But he just, he gave us one more game. One more round. Oh, this is actually really exciting. Let's go ahead and go first. We're going to try to go first and see if this works out for us. We could play Fukuru here, turn two. I think we're gonna keep this hand. This is a pretty solid hand. Get rid of the Fukuru, bring it back. Possibly if we lose that Barcelona, we can bring it. No, we'll just get that Fukuru back. That's all we can do here. I guess we end our turn, nothing to do. I did forget that we don't get a draw. If BSS, you get a draw first turn. It looks like he's playing Nami. This is the new Kuru leader. Uh, activate main three rested. You may rest two of your characters with the East Blue. Set this character active. This leader is active and rest up to one of your opponent's character with cost five or less. Absolutely insane. Insane. You just need East Blue. So basically, you run a bunch of East Blues and he has his own Nami there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and run this Fukuru, but first, we're going to attack. I doubt he blocks. This is a really strong leader. This is actually insanely good. What? You just have to rest two your own units and then you get 
to set this guy up a again and you get to rest one of the opponent's characters so i need to be very careful he can end game easily he could just dump like a bunch of dawn underneath himself attack twice and just do a lot of damage okay already he's resting me with Jin. on play if your leader has east blue rest up two of your opponent's character it cost four or less really good and gets a pl pl plus 1k counter. We're going to lose this because next turn we're just going to play Blueno and bring it back. Plus it basically did its job by blocking. I'm going to go ahead and attack again. I'll tell you what, in Strip Blueno we're actually going to play Spandam and... Uh, Let's see, before that, okay, we'll get the spend them. Man, Kaku is actually great here. Damn, did we lose everybody? Oh my god, we lost so much Fukuru. <laughs> Damn it, I probably should have picked a Fukuru up. But that was value right there. Okay, we could Khalifa here or keep it for the Dawn. Or for the counter value. Let's just Barcelona. Barcelona is big value here. We might just have to Khalifa once. Actually, we're not going to block here. We're just going to take these hits. We're pretty early in the game. I'm gonna go ahead and take some hits here. Jin is good, but once he's played, he's pretty much useless at 5k. Let's see what he wants to do, I wonder. I guess you just run a bunch of East Blues in this deck. You don't really run anything else. So I'm not really sure what kind of East Blues he could be running. Actually, let me try to find out. I don't know if he's going to keep playing or not, but... Okay, there he is. He's actually pumping Nami. Interesting. Here I could just block. I could just block. Okay, I'll just take this one first. And I'll block the next one. You think he just pumps up a bunch of... Dawn. Okay, now i got to take this one. Okay, uh, hopefully he doesn't pump up this. Oh, damn it, he did. Okay, it doesn't matter. We're going to use a Khalifa. We were going to have to use a Khalifa anyways. So it doesn't really matter here. The math added up in the end. We're going to keep the Sakazuki in our hand for now. We're, we can just get rid of his East Blues right now. I think that'll give us a small advantage, actually. If we get rid of some of these. I'll attack. 6k in here. What do you guys think? We have seven Dawn. We could play one character. So let me give one Dawn here and one Dawn here and attack here and here. Okay. Well, I know he's not going to block for the Nami. So might as well just attack for free. I know he's not going to block for the Nami. I mean, that's pretty weird. See? Now I could just give this two Dawn here. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to activate my guy. He needs to have... It's okay. He doesn't have to be blocker. He can just be on the field for now. Yeah, on KO, he brings himself back. Plus, we could bring Khalifa. Absolutely could bring Khalifa out instead of the Fukuru. Okay. So, the math added up here perfectly. We don't get the blocker because we wanted to get rid of the Jin hard. I think if you control the opponent's field here, though, Kuru loses a lot of his power. Like, he's going to have a problem against people that can control him, right? So maybe against purple and black, is, is this a bad matchup for him? But I guess if you have East Blue characters that are one cost like Alvida here, it really doesn't matter how hard you count, uh, you try to control this, this leader. Honestly, what he could do right now, he could just literally... Mirrors to one East Blue, K up to one of your opponent's rested characters. Wow. <laughs> he did all of that just to get rid of my spam. Damn. Okay. This guy uh, is very interesting. Very interesting. Actually, this is really not that bad. I like that it triggers as well. Play up to one character would cost four or less. Would trigger? What? That's almost impossible to get. I guess we just block here. <laughs> 
I guess we should block. Okay, finally we see Krieg here. On play, you may trash one card from your hand, KO up to two of your opponent's rested characters. But he can't KO this. And I didn't have another rested character. But that's huge, actually. Oh my god, that like literally kills Rush. So Kuru is really strong against Rush. Dawn times one, this character has double attack. Okay, we need to get rid of it right now. Good thing we have some kind of cost reduction here. Do we? Yeah. We actually do with Khalifa. But if we play Khalifa, we can't play this. Damn, we actually don't have any cost reduction. Should I just go for the Aisho here? Get rid of, get rid of two of his cards? Guys, I have a really strong, like, turn here. Okay, so this is what we do. We don't get rid of... Oh, man, I can. I want to get rid of LV, though. So he doesn't attack twice. If I get rid of LV, though, can I restand and attack? Honestly, it doesn't matter. If I attack 5k, he's going to block it anyways. Might as well just attack LV, though. Yeah, he's going to block it anyways. Um... And then we're just gonna go ahead and deploy this. Make him trash two cards. Is he trash any two keys? Damn, out of the bag is insane. Bro, this car this leader is actually insane. I can see him winning tournaments easy. And then we'll just give one Dawn here. That way when he dies, we can get uh, a Khalifa. And we'll be fine. I think we're fine. As long as, we, as long as we control the Kuru, we're good. Plus, this gives us a lot of value. I show we get a 9k on the field. He loses two cards from his hand. Absolutely insane value. So as long as we get this off early, plus we get the minus three now, we can basically Sakazuki for cheap and get rid of the Krieg. So I wonder if he even attacks with the Krieg here. If he doesn't, we're going to gain insane value, guys. So Kuru is going to go for it. Man, I think we just block... I kind of want to get that Khalifa. I'm not going to lie. Because you trash two cards. Draw two, trash two. We get to cycle through the deck. And we get a body on the field. Man, it's okay. We'll just take this. We'll just take this one. It's okay. We can see some cards. We'll, we'll just block... Uh, we want to die to Krieg, actually. Let's do that. Let's die to Krieg. Unless he can set me sideways. I mean, I doubt he can set anything cost 5 sideways. Unless he activates his own ability, which he's not going to do it. So here, we're just going to go ahead and block. That's much more effective. And we get a Khalifa out. Get to activate the ability. Then we get rid of this. Get rid of anything that doesn't give us really any counter. This is zero counter. Tashika is going to get played, so just get rid of this other guy. That's fine. He gets Django, choose one of the abilities, set one of your leaders, or East Blue. Uh, oh my god, what's happening here? Wait, wait, wait. Rest this character and up. Set one of your leaders or characters. Oh my god, you can play him and just set one of your guys active? Yo, this is terrifying. That's scary, boys. And he has double attack. Oh my god. This deck is actually scary. Yo, the deck against me is actually scary. That's crazy. Alright, we just have to give this minus three. Minus one to give them minus three. I guess 10k here. And then we just KO this. And now we have full control of the game. And then we just Sakazuki this. By trashing another one of these. And then just pump up the Khalif a little bit to 6k.
and I'll push 6k. That way he loses two cards. Oh wow, nice. That's great. She triggers. Wow. That's really good. We'll just attack with the raw Lushi. See what he wants to do here. See, I like attacking with this uh, plus plus 1,000. So it was good to give two down to Khalifa. Okay, the math kind of added up perfectly in the end. Oh my god. Yo, this is actually crazy. Like, the impossible just happened. He played two cards from the, from the trigger zone. That's crazy. Wow. That's actually insane. Though, the, the, this green deck is insane. I'm going to make a new deck profile about this very, very soon. Absolutely amazing. I can see a lot of potential in this. We lose two guys. Oh, at least we lose the Khalifa, that's for sure. He can't attack with it, thankfully. I think we can end game next turn. If he doesn't play blocker. I mean, even if he plays blockers, we're ending game. Oh, man. Remember, guys, he can restand his guys. Let's see what we want to do. We're actually going to stop this. Yeah, he could do a lot of damage to us. He could still restand. I'd rather block this. I need this blocker. Kaku, go home. Yeah. Good try, Kuru. A lot of potential here. I think you just have to sequence this better. Playing against red. Bro, this is insane. These characters are insane. That's crazy good. Okay. We'll just have to pump up a bunch of damage. Onto the loose sheet start. I mean, this game's over, right? Then we find a way to kill the Hachan. And we win game. Right? Is he going to play? Is he triggering something? Oh my god. This is crazy. Wait, something got KO'd. You're not going to remove it? I guess now we just... He should have killed the Hachan. I mean, it doesn't matter. He's losing this game. Alright, good game, guys. Alright, guys. Strong matchup here. We'll try to go s first. See if this will help us in any way. Guess we could start with this, honestly. Um, we could start with this. Also, we could keep it in case we have a Sakazuki. Because he's going to be playing a lot of 8 costs. Well, if we're going to keep this, I want to mulligan this hand. Yeah, I'm just going to... Okay, a little bit better, I think. And turn. A little bit better. Let's get this Borsalino out ASAP. Borsalino is good for turn two, but we could also push out Blueno, I guess. But Blueno will be useless if we don't get value from him first. We do have impact w wave here, so if we don't play anything, we could literally use it. We could literally use it here. Are we going to use the boys? Yeah, I'll just get rid of his pudding. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Doesn't really matter. We can, cook, we can kaku it. No, we can't actually. Let's start pushing some... Man, if we play this, we lose that guy. It's just a bad turn here. Pick up the five. Pick five and play f character with five. Man, well, let's just hope this goes good. Okay, no CPs at all. Let's just play the Fukuru. And we'll pump up one more. Damn it, guys. This is, this is tough. 
I don't know what just happened. Did he just 2k? Okay. This is tough because we can't use this. We need, we need to get kill this Fukuru ASAP. Right now, Fukuru needs to die. Because we need to play this. Bro, he keeps getting power for free. This is crazy. Okay, good. So this is going to be amazing. This is going to be a really good play for us. We're going to gain a lot of value here. 2k, 7k here. And then, we, I mean, we could restand. No, we're not going to do that, though. We're just going to go ahead. What's happening? On KO, look at the top three cards. Reveal one, add it to your hand. Wow, that's crazy. Now he has to on KO again. This is a lot of value for him. Now he could just go ahead and play his Katakuri. This is going to be very scary, guys. Get ready. At least, it, oh, man, this can be very scary. Let's see how this goes. He can play Katakuri right now. He's going to Katakuri us, boys. Okay, no no category actually. Wow. No eight cost category boys. Seven K will take this. I want I need cards. I need to see more cards. There's nothing in my trash anymore. That's CP. That's that's the irony of playing Kaku is I can't activate blue I know. This is crazy. Okay, we do have the spend them. Let's start there. Man, we could go for the eye show immediately here. I think this is great actually. Gain some value. He's going to get two big attacks next turn. Let's just start with some hits. Yeah, I'm going to go for the eye show, guys. Eye show early. Getting eye show out as, as soon as possible is going to give me insane value. Like, the value I get from eye show is insane. If I can get... Oh, man, I'm kind of scared now. He could... I don't think Katakuri can pick up. Let me look, actually. I want to see Katakuri. I want to see his ability. His ability costs 8 or less. Oh, my God. He can actually pick up my my Aisho with his Katakuri. Oh, man. This is absolutely hell. So, you tell me I can't even play my Aisho. This is the only CP I can pick up. Let's just go ahead and draw a card then and kill this. With oh I can't I don't even have Karu. Kaku. I can't even activate Kaku. Anyway, I can reduce cost one more. I could reduce cost one more. And kill this. But that's a horrible idea. That's a horrible idea, boys. I don't think this is going to work. Damn. So, well, just Blueno. Man, Blueno literally has no nothing to pick up. That's crazy. Kaku can't activate. Man, I needed to play this better. I, we needed some um, cheaper units coming in earlier. Damn it, damn it. Okay, uh, this is a CP7, so it's not going to be value to play this. Oh, we can't even trash a uh, CP9 in our hand using the Wednesday so we can play the Blueno. This is crazy. Okay. So that's that's crazy. I actually misplayed that then. Totally misplayed. Wow, that was a horrible misplay. Definitely blocking this with a Kaku, with a CP9 in general. Man, I can't even throw a CP9 in the trash so I can block with Blueno. I can't even do that.
crazy. I don't know what happened to my hand, man. Just drew blanks. I run a lot of CP9s. Exactly. Yo, Charlotte Linden is scary. So the only thing I can play right now is a Spandam. This is absolutely pathetic on my side. I'm not going to lie. This attempt is pathetic on my side. I'm literally losing game A like completely. Bro, literally he has full counter of me. If I play Aishu, he can just Katakuri. And then into the Charlotte Linden. Broken. Tough game. We do have blockers. Even playing Aisha right now is not value. Actually, it is. It's actually value. Never mind. Okay, so we give this seven. Attack here. He's just gonna two care. Just gonna eye show. Wow, we got, yeah, see, he had a katakuri. Man, look at what he just trashed from his hand. Two useless cards for me. I guess I don't get countered now by the Katakuri, but still, I'm 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 hurting. I'm hurting, boys. Nice, and he plays a trigger. He's gonna try to end game. He still has Katakuri. That's crazy. And what he did puts is blue in. Oh my god. That's crazy, boys. That's crazy. We're actually protecting Akaku. We have two CP9s. Kaku is useless. I need the I need as many blockers as I can have right now. We need literally every single blocker. I think we can still make this happen. These two are gonna attack still. Lots of attack are gonna happen still. That's 8k and this is gonna be 12k into me. If I can block this 8k, the 12k is gonna hit me. Yeah, let's block this 8k. The blue window is like a zero value right now. Let let this Charlotte Linden hit Kaku. And honestly, uh, this is amazing. What just happened? Wait, what? Oh my god, what? So you're telling me this is a turn where we took zero damage. Okay, this is amazing. And he didn't send my eye show to the uh, home. He sent my freaking Blueno. Oh my god, my Kaku survives! Yo, we have to end game right now. We literally have to end game right now. We, I can't, I can't do anything else. We're just gonna pump a bunch of Dawn. 
and worst case scenario happens, we keep two for the ones. Okay? So let's give three here. Two here. Man, we can give more than three here. We're gonna get four attacks in, boys. Big ones. That's eight. Let's make these attacks nine. The problem is everything we trash from his hands was literally zero counters. That's but it's 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 okay. We can literally give two more dawn. Eight. So two 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 would be eight. If we do nine and ten, we literally could do nine nine ten. I forgot about that too. So we have full control of this. I think he messed up by sending the Blueno back home instead of sending something else. We're also going to be able to restand our Lucy. Oh man, I actually messed up the calculations here. I should have attacked Lucy first. I thought Lucy was 9k for some reason. Oh, I didn't give him the last dawn he needed. Oh, I'm so bad actually. It's okay. When he attacks next time, he'll get that dawn. Actually, let's just do it right now. Okay, let's just do that right now. I want to be safe. 9k into 10k, right? Yes! Let's go, boys! Who's messing with...